Hey folks, I'm Thurvain Glory and welcome to part 77 of my Skaven campaign in Total War Warhammer 2. So we are halfway through our Vortex ritual, our final ritual, uh, and another five intervention armies have appeared. Fortunately they're just Skaven armies, which have proven to be a bit weaker than the Chaos armies in the past. Uh, so we've got them to deal with. Uh, but we're in a decent enough position. Um, I have... See, down here we've got uh, Hillkeek, whose army we're sending into Chupayotl. And we've got an army here, which isn't a proper army. I was going to use this to repopulate some settlements that we lost to the last lot of Chaos armies. Uh, so I'm sending that up now towards Subatun, I think. Because what I want to do here, bring Lord Skrulk over and I want to swap over some units from this army. So I want to get rid of the clan rats and I think I'm also Going to get rid of the storm vermin with sword and shield, and instead, I want to bring in a couple of plague monks anyway to replace these guys. To bring in the rat ogres or the hill pit abominations. Let's go for the abominations. We've not seen much of them. Okay, incorporable. You head back into Oichel. Thank you. And Lord Skrulk, if you go into March stance and you start heading up towards the Altar of the Horned Rat, uh, let's switch this off. Um, off. Off. It's annoying me. Okay. So, as I said, yep, so uh, Corpable's going to Garrison Oichel as one of the ritual sites. Hell Kiko Gansel Chupayotl. Garrison at Chupayotl. Uh, I think with this army, I'm probably going to maybe just Garrison Subatun or the Mortuary of Tsulakwa uh, or something of that nature. Lord Skrull's going to come up here to link up with uh, Skrull. All hail, honed rat. Now, do I want to move Skrull out towards Akshlotl because they're likely to. Well, no. The garrison here is not the greatest. No, clan rats, it's given sleeves. Um, no, if I moved that army there, it would be vulnerable to an attack by two or three of those armies. So you stay put, there's a good garrison in there. And up here we have Skullpake the Lethal. Let's get you moving down to cause a bit of mischief to these guys as well. Okay, uh, anything else? Yeah, I want to switch off these settlement upgrades and damage buildings, so I'm not going to do anything about them. Have a quick look at diplomacy, uh, just to see about coordinating more targets. Vampire Coast. Hitchwattle are essentially out of the game. So, would you instead attack this guy, please? War coordinate, attack him. Thank you. That's the game. And with that, I'm going to keep what money I have, just in case I need to recruit another army. Um, I don't think I want to spend any more money. Unless, uh, Oichel, I was building defences here. So let's spend four and a half grand on that. And let's move on to the next turn. So Lothurn 
Druther armies up north uh, and have been invisible ever since. They haven't started the ritual, they've not attacked any of my allies. So I think we can discount them now. Hitchwactle, uh, we're still performing rituals, but they're a the whole ritual behind us. So they're not a threat. Nagaro and started their ritual last turn, so they are, I think, nine turns behind me. So I just need to make sure that they don't improve any. Unfortunately, they're not coming down to make problems for me. If they attacked, in addition to the Chaos armies, we could have a bit of a problem. Clan Moors, it looks like they are sending armies north after Lothern, as I had requested. The Vampire Coast, will you head south after that, Jared? Don't know, they might do. Jared, what are you after? A peace treaty. Um, think about it. If you give me some cash. Oh, hang on. This is what I'm after. Yeah, you're very strong. So let's see, five thousand. Okay, it's up to you. And let's see what these guys get up to. Okay, so they've dispersed, that's good. That's what I like to see. We've got two heading over, looks like, towards that schlottle. So if I can try and isolate one of them, that would be good. The other th three plus one. Oh, this this might be the one that was uh, part of the initial set of armies that disappeared over here somewhere. Reappeared. But I reckon they're going to hit Itza. Or some of them are. So with this army then... I think we'll just keep heading up towards Subatoon for now. You go back to just stalking. And I'm not going to recruit any units just now. I might, if these armies draw a bit closer, then I'll add another two or three units in there. And Lord Skrull, you continue up towards Skrull. Do I want to try... No. Um, I will let me think. Okay, so you can't get anywhere near that army and you can't get close to Axlotl to help the garrison without going into forced march. Could move you out there into ambush stance. And bring screw up into reinforcement range. But then they're using the underway, so if they use the underway, it would be a one on one battle, so just stay where you are, help the garrison. The Vampire Coast did mobilise against Jared. Yep, so Skrulk then head up towards the altar of the Hondrat. Skalpik, there you are. Yeah, you head down. I think that's us. You're in normal or stalking stance, that's fine. There's not a whole lot else we can do. Uh, and blue vipers, it's not worth. Asking them to attack anybody. 
and the uh, clan wars are going up after Lothurn. So let's end this turn then. Here we go. So things have really quietened down in that continent. Nobody seems to be taking aggressive action against anybody else. Um, I must, if, if I need to recruit another army, I must remember to leave myself 10 grand to hire an intervention army just in case. Uh, what do you want, Clan Wars? Join the war against Karak Zorn for 2,000 gold. Okay, sounds like a good deal. I think it's about three turns, maybe maybe two, since I agreed to a peace treaty with Karak Zorn. But that's fine. It's only dwarfs, after all. What's the chances of Karak Zorn offering me another peace treaty now for 5,000 gold? Well, minimal. Still, it was worth a thought. Bring me tribute gifts Make a brotherhood. Okay, you think you're a competitor to me. That's fine. You're not really a threat while well, you're over in the other continent, and you're going after Jared. Well, maybe next turn. Or a couple of turns. Okay, there we go. They do attack it, sir. With three armies, so that's a clear defeat. But then. This our garrison isn't the worst. Um, I might fight this. If I can eliminate two or three of the units in here, or seriously damage them at least, that would be useful for when it comes up against one of my full field armies. I think I will fight this. Um, yeah, let's do that. And if I could take out their artillery, but then that would mean leaving the castle. So Doom Wheels and Help at Abomination maybe, go for them. Warp Fire Throwers. Maybe if I could seriously damage two or three of those type of units, the elite units. I'd be happy with that. Uh, let's gamble this. Oh dear. Never mind. So what do we have? We've got uh, the Warp Fire Throwers, Rat Ogres, Help Abomination, the Doom Wheel, and well, that's odd. Um, plague monks over there. The bulk of their forces appear to be in here. And all their artillery focusing over there. Alright. Um, well. I think I want to have. What's a view? So anal. Let's review just there. You ready, ready. Thank you. We just come back a bit. And do I want to bother 
I want to try and stay compact. An idea is going to be some stuff will come through the gates. And if we can concentrate on that and knock it out, that would be ideal. Uh, I think I'll have this third unit. After all that, I'm going to put the third unit down in here. Somewhere. Sword infantry. We can just have it on hand to support these units. To keep this over here as well, I think so. Now, these guys they can forward deploy and they can do so hidden. They've got Doom Wheel in here and Storm Vermin with Swords and Shields. I don't have anything else there. Might have reinforcements coming in, but that doesn't matter if they do. Let's let's see if we can take out their artillery, or at least some of it. So if you guys group up there, and the gutter runners can forward deploy as well, so you can keep something else busy. Forward deploy into skirmish mode. Yeah, I'm liking that notion. Uh, yeah, you stand up there. You can cast magic on this stuff as it advances. I think we'll have all that as a group. That's a group. Poison Wind Globideers. I think we'll stick them in here, actually. And stay in skirmish mode, so whatever comes through there, you hit, and then we'll send the spears in. So actually, let's as well add you to that group. And that leaves us with Rat Ogres. Put both of them over here. I think I'll put one there. I think I'll keep another one in here. Yeah, that's all meant to be one group. And you be there. Clan rats. Clan rats spears. And we're going to stick our catapult in there. And I think that's us. So what do I want to do up here? I think I'll send one of these against the doom wheel. Try and tie that up. Of them, don't want to waste them in this. Well, okay, maybe if you attack the storm, ver storm vermin, keep them busy, and I can send another two of these units, one in against a couple of artillery pieces. So I'll do that. You and you head up there. You guys attack them. Get moving. You shoot at them. No, them actually. You come across here. And as soon as we can get menace from below, then we'll do that as well. Kill them off. 
Shoot at them. Over here. Oh, I forgot. I want you to pop magic on on what? On these guys. Good. We've got some of them. How you doing? Hey, kill that catapult. You get back in the fight. Oh, look at this. Kill that general. Rat ogres getting there as well. What the hell are you guys doing? Idiots. Back there. You go and help them. Okay, let's have you pop there. Kill them with extreme prejudice. And can you just go over and hit something if you can at all? Try and get into them. There's a breach in the wall. Plague Claw catapults, no, shoot at that. If you can do some damage on that, that would be fantastic. They've got damn more fire throwers in there. Shooting at me, you return the favour. In fact, just kill them. Get in there. You in against those rat ogres. You cast. When, no, you can't. Because you're in combat. Right. Get into them now. You keep shooting up there. You wait. Actually, I don't want to take them to come over and. There's a, a doom wheel. Do I want to hit that? I think we probably do. Try and kill this doom wheel. Their general is running. Not quite gone. Another general just come in. No, that's not what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Finish them off. Yeah, finish them off, actually. This Doom Wheel is taking a bit of a beating. That one's still strolling around. We don't have any units left at all over here. Almost. You try and get in on them. And the play clock catapult, you can keep shooting. Can you what is is there a value up here? Go for the sensor bearers, why not? You Kill them, the crewmen, that would be great. And your morale's disappearing. Like rats up a drain pipe. Okay, you stop 
running away. Uh, you can back over here. Ah, uh, damn. Okay. Well, we knew it was going to be a decisive defeat anyway. We've managed to take out one of their units and severely damaged Doom Wheel, a couple of Doom Wheels, Rat Ogres, their artillery. Not too bad. I'd have preferred to have managed to wipe one of these out completely. I only lost that. But they've only got two of them left. And they can't replenish. Okay, I'll take that. I'm not too disappointed with that outcome. Um, this one here, I suppose it should be the same deal. I'm not going to get anything like the same result, but if I can focus everything, just take one or two units out, or at least down a bit, we'll do that. But I'm going to fight that in the next part, so I'm going to put a break in here. So thanks very much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed this. Please leave me a comment and rate the video, and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content, and I hope to see you again next time. Cheers.